you guys. All right. Today, guys, I will be talking about the shoe, Saucony Endorphin Elite. So, I did my first test run in this about a week ago now, guys. And I would say that uh, this shoe is really, really interesting. And to be honest with you guys, like, I would say in general, I really like this shoe. My only question is right now is, I'm not really sure if this is actually a marathon shoe for me or not. So, I did a 10K test run in this, because I think like, you know, 10K distance is like, you know, like a really good distance for me to kind of, you know, test like different paces. And, you know, at the same time, you know, um, just try to, it's a good distance for me to kind of really feel the shoe a little bit more. So, the very first thing that I actually noticed with the shoe is actually the midsole. So, when I did my first run in this, it was not like the actual test run yet. So, I just went out and just kind of like tried to kind of feel the shoe a little bit. The midsole is just really, really comfortable. Actually, like right now I'm training for the marathon. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of runs and I also like ran like eight miles before the, you know, before the test run. So yeah, my legs that day were just really like kind of sore. So yeah, I was expecting like when I actually did that first test outside would be like feeling a little bit uncomfortable. But yeah, um, it felt really comfortable and yeah, I just like the midsole. So if I do this test, like you can actually see it right there. Yeah, there's really nice kind of like kind of bouncy kind of feel right there. And yeah, like the heel, actually the heel is a little bit firm, a bit firmer compared to like the forefoot area right here. But yeah, it's really nice and kind of springy. And if I compare this to Endorphin Pro 3, I would say that this is actually like bouncier than the 3. Um, I would say that the Endorphin Pro 3 is more on actually the softer side. And yeah, this one is like bouncier, like, you know, the ride of this one compared to the 3. The Pro 3 is more of like, for me, like a 5k to 10k distance. Because I remember that time when I actually ran a little bit longer than 10k. It just didn't feel very comfortable for me. But I know like some people like actually kind of like running that, you know, like the half marathon or even a marathon. But yeah, for me, based on, you know, my, my run and, you know, the Endorphin 3, I would say like uh, it's more of like a 5k and 10k distance for me. And the upper. So I don't know if you can see it there, guys, but yeah, if I put my fingers inside, yeah, you can see my fingers right there. It's like really, really thin, like nice and really breathable. And yeah, like right here, kind of like on the four foot section, there's a little bit of like a structure right here. Just kind of like give that nice kind of like a nice room for the toe box. I would say the upper is just really breathable. Yeah, if you can see right there, like there's just lots of holes right there. Like the tongue, like more holes right there. And also on this side, yeah, big hole right there. Also right here. So, after you know my 10k test run in this i would say just in general like i really like you know like the ride of the shoe like i said um it's like kind of soft and kind of bouncy and it has that actually the kind of high stack kind of feel which is actually i like about the shoe and for me it feels also like more stable because it has more foam on the bottom so whatever kind of pace I'm running, it, fit, it felt like really comfortable. And it's just kind of like nice and springy. I, I just, 
I just really like the ride of this and like yeah like the upper is just like a nice really breathable did not really have any like a lacing problem whatsoever and like has that really nice fit like here in the forefoot overall I really like the shoe there's just like one I would say like kind of problem that I actually had like during um, actually even before my run it's just the heel counter right here you can see that there's like foam right there but that's it like just to protect your heel from maybe blister but the heel counter there's really nothing like you can see it like that like I said like even before my run I already felt that you know my heel was actually slipping a lot yeah I know that they, they did this for a reason like maybe to cut the weight and like just to make the shoe really comfortable but yeah it kind of almost kind of like ruined the shoe because like it's not really securing the heel and it's like you know it's making like a little problem but here's the thing actually when I did my actual run like the 10k test run that heel slippage kind of disappeared but I still you know felt that you know like my my heel was not really secure I actually had like some experiences with other shoes like this kind of issue so I know a little bit how to fix it so I know that if I actually wear like compression socks I think it might probably fix the problem because that's how I actually did with the other shoes from the past that I had issue with like this and when I actually put like the compression socks it actually kind of almost fixed the problem I was getting that really nice lockdown and like this problem is almost like gone like almost didn't feel it anymore so overall I would say guys that you know after like doing my test run I would say that this shoe like whatever kind of pace I run you know it felt really comfortable but for me it really feels really good when I'm actually running like around like six minute pace yeah for me like that's like my 10k to half marathon race pace I just felt that when I'm running around that pace I don't know like it just feels like so good um, yeah very very smooth and I'm getting like a really really good rhythm that's what I'm saying like I'm not really sure really like right now because of, of course I only did like two runs in this I cannot really tell it might be good for the marathon distance as well but for me right now it's like in that kind of effort 10k to half marathon effort for me this shoe is really really good I would yeah I would say more specific I would say like this is actually good for like a half marathon because it has like more midsole like cushion so it would be a really really good you know shoe for like a half marathon to push the pace really hard yeah because when I push the pace I can really feel that nice like the firmness of the shoe which just gives me like that good energy return and I can get that really smooth turnover and it's just just it just felt really good so this is all for today guys thank you again so much for being here today I'll see you guys in the next vlog.